Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. It is Monday. I'm so excited. It's my part ready. I need to get my hair done. But literally, happy Monday. What time is it? 7.53. So we need to go to the gym shortly. Supposed to be at the gym by 8.15. Takes us no time to get to the gym though, so we're gonna be on time today. Um, a lot to look forward to. Happy it's Monday. Looking forward to the week to come. It's Thanksgiving week, so we're really excited to be with family and see my friends' family this week. We went to Friendsgiving this weekend, so that was pretty fun. And I'm gonna see my friends again on Tuesday, so really pumped about that. Um, yeah. Overall, I slept so good last night, you guys. Like, it felt like I slept for 10 hours and I went to bed at like 11. But I was like waking up at like five, like, is it almost time to get up? Is it almost time to get up? I was sleeping so long. Like, if I can sleep like that every night, I'd be a different person. Hair is a mess. Oh, I'm not gonna put this in there. I think I'm just gonna do a low ponytail today. I try to have my hair halfway decent for the gym because I'm already gonna be looking crazy. So. Yeah, I know I'd be looking crazy doing my workouts. Because my facial expressions are just, they're always off the chain. I need to probably schedule a hair appointment. I feel like everybody's going to be trying to go get their hair done on Wednesday. Um, so I probably need to schedule one. I just go early in the morning when they first open up. I could do my hair myself, but I just don't feel like it. Like, I'm just not wanting to do my own hair. I may do it, like, if they're too booked, um, I'll do it myself. But I put a little oil. I get so dry around my mouth. Um, out of all the places on my face, like my mouth. I'll be walking around with that white, <laughs> no, I'm playing. You know that white, that white ring. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay, we're about to go to the gym, get our workout on, and we'll be back. And yeah, I still am low on groceries. I kind of don't want to go grocery shopping until after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Because I know that we're going to have so many leftovers. We're going to have the refrigerator going to get full of leftovers and things like that. And I just want to eat those things and then go grocery shopping. So we're just winging it throughout the week. So you guys are basically going to see me winging all my meals this week. Um, I did make chili last night, so that should last probably till Wednesday. I'm thinking I made a big pot. Um, so we'll probably just eat sandwiches in between, chili, and just clear out the refrigerator. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this week. Um, said that five times, so I'm not gonna keep doing that. Um, okay, bye. Hey y'all, back from my workout. On top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. <laughs> ah, help me. Great workout, but I am tired. When I come off the weekend, I be feeling weak. Like, because I don't really lift at all on the weekend. 
Um, I may do like a just body weight workout or go walking, but Monday is always like I feel like my weakest day and I need to change that. So I'm going to put some Greek yogurt. This smoothie is thick. <laughs> While well, I'm drinking my smoothie, I'm just gonna do my daily planner. I don't know if y'all can see, but this is my daily planner. I try to do this every day. Basically, it's a sheet that just helps you stay on top of things. So I already have like a calendar, like on my computer, connected to my email, things like that. But this just lets me pick like three most important things that I know I gotta get done and helps me not forget anything my mom got this for me and it's really helpful so i try to use it every day so the first question on the daily planner is a moment for gratitude um one thing i'm grateful for um i have a gratitude journal outside of this where i journal every day um and i write something that i'm grateful for three things i'm grateful for but right now i'm just gonna put um a fresh start it's monday and I don't know it's every day is a fresh start but Mondays are a great like fresh start for me like through the week it helps I get to set the the tone for the week on a Monday so that's what I'm grateful for today a fresh start um today's date 11 22 2021 priorities for today um connect with five women so for my uh one of my blog well my blog that spiritual tea i want to connect with five women on there because i've kind of gotten behind on like my collapse or whatever so yeah i need to connect with five women um i need to finish a grant calendar um, I am a grant writer. I say that in every video, I feel like. But um, I create calendars for organizations for the next six months for grants for them to apply for. And so I have one due today and I have to finish that and submit it. Um, well, I have to submit it before the holiday break, um, their holiday break, but I'm going to just finish it today. And also... I need to finish, pick out outfits for Style Reel. So um, I want to start making reels, like fashion reels, and I want to do the first one like date night. So I have a few dresses in mind, so I need to really put those on my, oh, well, I bought a clothing rack. I want to lay them out and then think about how I'm going to style them. Day six. Of the strong woman challenge and 150 grams protein is my meal goal three meals a day three meals today and yeah that's kind of it um so i'm gonna enjoy this smoothie um write down like some time blocks that i know that i need to do things by and yeah, we're going to just get our day going. Simple start, but this is my day. Look at my bird. He's just sleeping. Just sleeping the day away. All right. Hey, y'all. So, totally haven't eaten breakfast yet. It is 9.45. I made breakfast. Like I said, we're super low on groceries. Like super low on groceries. So I'm about to show y'all what we have. So low on groceries. I just have half an avocado, sourdough toast, two chicken sausages, and some scrambled eggs with cheese. When I tell y'all we are low on groceries, we are low on groceries. So breakfast like, is going to be pretty basic but that's okay that's okay at least we have breakfast it's 
so good. Hey you guys, so it's about, oh, it's 12.35. Ah, uh, working on a few things. Um, so earlier today when I was telling you that I needed to finish a grant calendar, that's what I'm working on right now. Um, almost done with it, but yeah. Yeah, working at a new location today my living room. I kind of just switch up where I work. Um, sometimes it's because Rod is on phone calls. Sometimes it's just, I like to switch it up. I try not to ever work in my bed. Like if I'm working in my bed, it's, it's late at night and I have to finish something and I just want to be cozy. Um, but like during the day, no, the only because I will go to sleep. I will fall asleep so fast and it's like, Kelly, as soon as I get in that bed. So that's why I make my bed in the morning. Um, I'm doing the strong woman challenge and that's like one of my tasks for the day. Let me turn my phone down. That's one of my tasks for the day is to make my bed so I do not get into it until nighttime when it's time to get in the bed. But yeah, um, sometimes I do work from the couch. Um, I can stay up a little bit more on the couch. Maybe it's because my couches are not that comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah mostly I try to sit up and work I'm more productive I don't go to sleep yeah but yeah so that's what we're doing right now um hopefully by tonight Brad is gonna be working out of the house late today so I'm probably gonna be eating dinner by myself and I'll probably edit a vlog which I've been using like the around eight o'clock to 10 o'clock to edit vlogs um, and just edit my YouTube uh, videos, <laughs> my YouTube videos. So I'll probably do that tonight. But yeah, it's 1237. I'm not hungry. Sometimes it's like that. Um, I do need to take a sofa out to the uh, curb, which I will show y'all what we're doing. So basically, um, we have a sofa that, honestly, I was going to sell online. We've had it pretty much our entire marriage. It's in really good condition. Um, but we live in a neighborhood where, like, I'm telling you, you put something on the curb and put the word free, it's gone. And I noticed that, like, when I first moved out, I was blessed with so much stuff. Like, I came up on so much stuff. First of all, just my wedding registry in general, like, I got everything on my wedding register, registry that I wanted, everything. Um, and I didn't have to pay for anything, like down to just, we had cups for days, mugs for days, sheets, towels, like it was insane. Um, and I just feel like sometimes I do like to resell things for money. Like, don't get me wrong. I think that's the best thing to do, but sometimes it's like, I just want to give it away. And, um, hopefully somebody picks it up that needs it and we have a page for our neighborhood where basically you post it and say you know i have this for free if you need a couch it's on the curb and maybe they will resell it you know but sometimes i just don't like to capitalize on everything sometimes i just like to give it away so yeah we're gonna take the couch to the curb and i guarantee you that couch is gonna be picked up within i don't know it's within the day um I'm just, I have it on the porch because it was raining. I didn't want it to get rained on, but the sun is out. So that's what we're probably going to do. <laughs> Free sofa. Uh, it's a really cute sofa. When y'all see it, you're going to be like, whoa. And it's a joy bird. So these sofas go for like more than $1,000. And so yeah, hopefully this makes somebody day. I don't need it. Thing is, I live in a very tiny house. Not tiny, but it's pretty small. It's like a thousand square feet or less. Like, a, I think it's a thousand square feet. So it's a house, it's a three bedroom. So three bedrooms and a thousand square feet, those rooms are small. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I don't need it. Um, there's no point in me holding on to it and put it out, put it out in the world. You know, I find so many good things all the time. It's just like, I don't, I don't need it. But that, that did its job. That did its job. We have a lot of memories with that couch. <laughs> Okay, so we're about to carry this. Now, I am not the strongest girl 
but I'm a strong girl. But I'm gonna need a little assistance, so don't y'all laugh at me. All right, so clearly it got taken as soon as I put it outside. That made my day. That made my day. I gotta catch my breath. <laughs> that kind of stuff always happens. But this is the thing, when you give away like that, I know that seems like a small thing to do. It will always come back to you. So you guys, I always tell people like, don't be afraid to give away. We live in a world where like, everybody wants to make money off of everything, which is totally fine. I understand why. But like, just give away things too. Like, somebody say they like something sometimes, like if you're not too attached to it, like, and they're really into it, give it to them. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying give away everything. So I don't want y'all to think that I do that because I don't, I keep things for myself. But um, yeah, give it away. It will change your life. Giving has changed my life. And it's like, um, I feel like I was raised to be a giver. My mom is like probably the most selfless person you'll ever meet. But like, you gotta give sometimes even when it hurts, even when you know you can come up off of this. That sofa, I literally put that, y'all just saw that, I put that out there for 30 seconds. Like, it wasn't even out there for 30 seconds, I was putting a sign on it and it's gone. Like sometimes you gotta give away nice things, like we think we wanna give away trash. Like, no, give away nice things. So, yeah, that's a prime example. I'm going to always come back. Always. But, yeah, I know that was little, though, but, you know, still give it away. All right, we're still in the same spot. Time has gone by, though. It's 3.30. Um, we just got a package. What is it? It's from Amazon. We just got, oh boy, I'm gonna break my nails. We just got a package. We just got a package. Oh, I'm not showing my address. We just got a package. I wonder what's inside. So, adulting. <laughs> Whatever. It's tea tree soap. It's natural. It's super good. If you have eczema, this is super good. My husband has eczema so bad, and it flares up like in the winter a lot of the time. Um, but this soap doesn't irritate his skin and it keeps it moisturized. So it's Dr. Woods tea tree soap, um, with fair trade shea butter. It's like really natural. So it's not going to foam up like Dove. So I need you to understand that. Don't get it in your little, it's going to burn. If you get it in your little private parts, um, it will burn. So don't do that. But you should already know that. You shouldn't be putting any soap down there. <laughs> okay, it's 3.30. Um, part of me, I need to eat something. I don't necessarily want to eat chili, so I could make myself a sandwich. Yeah, because I'm going to have chili for dinner. I'm not cooking tonight. I'm just going to heat up leftovers. So... Chico is chilling. I actually finished the grant calendar, so super happy about that. I knew I was gonna finish today, and I'm just gonna be able to send that off. I do have things due at the end of the month, but I told myself that I'm taking Monday. Monday is my last day of working 
until the following Monday after Thanksgiving break. And I usually don't take this long of a break, especially with um, Grant Writer, which is the business that I write grants through. Um, but I just decided like, that's one thing I'm doing for myself is like making sure that I am unplugged for holidays. And we celebrate Thanksgiving um, despite the horrible history behind it. Um, we still cook, family comes, you know, like spending time with loved ones. So yeah, I'm, I'm deciding to take that time off from talking to any type of clients or anything. So yeah, I'm really happy that I finished that calendar up. I will still be working on like um, my other passion projects, but that's not like demanding from people because that's just me. I don't have to contact anybody through those yet, but I will eventually. But um, I would just say like just self-employed entrepreneurs, anybody who works for themselves um, or contractors even, like make sure that you are setting boundaries, especially during this time period, because nobody like it's not like the office closed closes for you like you're always going and a lot of the time we don't take um time out for ourselves because we think we always got to be working like it's okay to chill like you can take a break so that's one thing i've been learning um i haven't had a boss since 2017 um and so i've made a lot of mistakes along the way i'm talking you know even on like christmas eve like answering calls um and it's unhealthy because like you only get one life you only get one christmas in 2019 you only get one new year's for 2020 and like it's not worth it to put work before those things so just being with family and the, the moments that really matter like make sure you take time out for them and it's a hard thing to really do because when you're an entrepreneur trying to build a business you feel like you always like you're you're lacking like if I don't work, you're not making money. Um, and it's like a fear of like, I trust my hustle more than I trust God. And that's something that you have to let go of because if you're doing what you're supposed to do, I promise you everything will be taken care of. So anyways, that was long, but don't be afraid to take a break. Um, don't, the grind can wait. So yeah, I am probably about to make me something to eat. Or actually, I'm just gonna eat some cereal. That's what I'm gonna eat. This is not a great day of me eating. Some days I nail in the eating department, but some days I'm like, I crave cereal, so that's what I'm about to eat. Hey, um, I just ate a snack or I guess a lunch. I was in hungry. I know I need to eat more. Um, I've got to eat more, especially like my working out. If you do not eat, you will not gain the muscle that you're wanting to gain. You know what I mean? So I know I need to eat, but I just don't have an appetite and I don't have any groceries that I like. <laughs> I'm just waiting to go grocery shopping after Thanksgiving. I'll probably go the day after, um, which is Friday this week and today's Monday. I have enough food to get me through, but it's like, I can't really make any of my favorite recipes. Uh, yeah, I can't. You know how it is, like when your food gets boring, that's where I'm at, but I'm just not hungry. Um, but I'm going to take a little break. It is 4 o'clock. And I still have a couple things to do. One of my goals today, as you saw earlier, was to reach out to five women. Um, in regards to like with my blog. And I need to do that. And I still haven't done that. So I need to do that. And I also need to pull the dresses that I'm going to be styling for my style reel. Um, but the bulk of the work, the work I get paid for, <laughs> um, that's done. So, and it's four o'clock. 
that's good um i'm probably gonna take a 30 minute break about 4 30 i'm gonna get up and um get started on round two yeah i'm a big i'm big on taking breaks like take a break because sometimes your brain just gets fried and like sitting at the computer um on the phone just straight for hours can literally drive you crazy even if you love what you're doing um so yeah i'm taking a break 30 minutes i'm probably gonna cut on a youtube video on my tv or maybe even cut on like a roku show i watch roku i know a lot of people don't use that app if they have a roku but i do so i might do that don't sleep too long kelly what if i wake up and it's seven o'clock <laughs> no i'm kidding i'm sending it along all right babe. hey i'm back from my break now tell me did i get up in 30 minutes no yeah it was an hour it was an hour so um got some things done what i'm about to go do actually is go to the dollar tree i'm gonna get some cleaning products i'm really tired i do need to edit a vlog but i'll probably edit that when i get back from the dollar tree um just so i can stay on top of things i'm not really like the most advanced editor as you can see but um i just try to edit a little bit every day so i don't like go like weeks like i normally do well actually years <laughs> My last YouTube video before I started uploading these was probably a year ago um, because it's overwhelming, especially when you get all this footage and then you're like, oh, I got to sit down and edit it. So, yeah, honestly, I'm just pushing out content at this point. I'm um, just vlogging my life every single day. Well, not every day, but as much as I can. So, yeah, I'm going to get some cleaning products. Um, oh, I actually need to go to the store because Rod, we bought brand new... Um, we bought brand new fabric softener yesterday for our clothes and then we spilled it. Well, Rod left it on the washer um, and it fell over and it just psh, all in our laundry room. So, yeah, I gotta go get a new one because I love to wash my clothes with fabric softener. It's like ties everything together. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go run and get a few things and I'll be back. Okay, so we are at Big Lots, getting some cleaning products. Um, I don't know what I'm going to get. I got the fabric softener. Um, oh, they have sponges. I need to get some sponges. All right, y'all. Hey, I'm back from the store. I got everything I need to get. Um, I got some toilet paper until we can get the big pack i normally like getting the big pack from like a regular grocery store um because i find it to be cheaper i guess but they had this so i just got that um i'm about to be on my period so i'm like about to use so much toilet paper so i was like yeah okay spray opened up um i got some cleaner I got some soap for the bathroom. I got temporarily, I got this. Oh, this is a toilet brush? I thought this was a dish scrubber. Um, and I got some Brillo pads because I have a pan that I accidentally burnt rice in and I need to use those. I got some popcorn. This is like my favorite. Very unhealthy popcorn that I showed in my first vlog. And it's the popcorn with the Bible verse, Philippians 411. Um, it's like my guilty pleasure. I really, my favorite one is the one by Lesser, Lesser Than Evil, um, vegan white cheddar cheese popcorn. But like I said, I didn't go to the regular store. And the, the thing that I went to the store for, sponges. Yeah, um, Rod should be home in about an hour. So, I'm starving, but I want to wait for him for dinner. <laughs> so, I guess what I'll do, I was going to edit, but we have some dishes. I need to wash the dishes from today. Because we were eating all day not cleaning the dishes. 
and maybe just sweep, clean up a little, bathe. And then he should be home by now. By then. Mm. I gotta learn how to make white cheddar popcorn. Good baby. It is so good to me. I'm gonna get this night going. We had another successful day. I I know these days are kind of boring, but this is just my real life. My real life. I love my life. But this is it. <laughs> no. All right, I'll be back. Yes, I feel like I'm in the same spot. Hey guys, so I've just been editing um, the vlog and I created a post for um, Best Spiritual Tea. Heated up the food. Rod is just getting off the exit. It's 9.20. Um, so yeah, I'm showered, lotioned up. And I folded some laundry back there. I need to go put it up. But yeah, everything is everything. I just reheated the chili for dinner. Um, when I make chili, I usually make like the big pot. And it lasts about two days or three days. So I'm thankful for that. Because I did not feel like cooking at all. Finish my water before 9.30. Guess who's not peeing in the bed tonight? Guess who's not peeing in the bed? No, I'm kidding. I don't pee in the bed. But, um, yeah. I forgot I was supposed to go to dinner tomorrow night. My sister has just texted me. So, I need to plan that out. Uh, Chico's eating his food. He eats when we eat. You're about to eat. He looks so cute when he eats, doesn't he? Yeah. Okay. He eats like a human. You're a human, Chico. He has food aggression though, so don't try to take his food. No, he don't. Look at this. No, why? Just leave him alone. Look at this. Chico, let me get a bite of that, man. Stop, Rod. Please. Look. Hey. Stop. You know? 